Hey folks, Daily Lance Blog for August the 12th, 2019. Won't be needing that. I was just checking the latest. And as of time of this recording, we are of the uh, under the impression that Jeffrey Epstein, the, the evil pedophile, although I guess all pedophiles are evil, um, took his own life in prison and in fact committed suicide. And that's not a phrase that I usually like to use. Those are two words that I don't believe go together most of the time, committed suicide. Uh, but in his case, it's really hard. I, I feel like you need to, it's almost like you need to distinguish the difference between what he did and what a lot of the people that we know um, did when they took their lives. It almost like it, it, and this may seem bizarre, tell me if it does case, but it almost like it, it besmirches the reputation of suicide when somebody uses it to escape essentially from jail and escape the charges that they are facing and escape the fact that they'll probably be in prison the rest of their life. Because we know that that is, in the case of 99% of the people, not what it's about. As a matter of fact, I was thinking about this. I was thinking that until, I don't know, maybe even 10 years ago, maybe a little bit more than that, whenever somebody would take their life, you would ask the question, you know, why? We would always ask that question, why? And especially in adults, the question would be, you know, did they have financial problems or were they gambling or were they, were they afraid that they were going to be exposed in the life that they were living? And yet, I don't, I don't think I know a single person, actually, who has taken his or her life who did it because of, some, of something they did in their life that they were, you know, trying to run from being exposed. I don't know a single person that's ever done that. Yet that was the belief. When, when I was a kid, for sure, that was the belief. When someone took their life, it was like they must have a secret. And now here we are in 2019. In almost every case, it's, it's not about having done something that you're ashamed of or being in a position where you want to get away from the truth about your life. It's about mental health. And it's about a symptom of mental illness can be the desire to end your life. And that's why this Jeffrey Epstein case kind of stands out because, okay, here's an example of what we used to talk about. And that is a guy that wanted to, wanted to run away from his life. And the only way he could do it since he was in prison and was gonna be there the rest of the life, his life was to take his life. What do you think, Case? Makes sense. Does that make sense? You know, it's like all of these, you know, the wonderful people that ended up taking their lives because of their illness should not be put in a group with, you know, with the scumbag who took his life because he couldn't face the consequences. Sicknumweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. We're here because the most important thing that we can do is talk. I think I just winked. Did you? I wasn't looking. Winking is creepy. Are we still on? Yeah. Okay. I just want to let Are you know. Are you doing it involuntary? It was involuntary. This is involuntary. This is involuntary. Really? Yeah. Can it's a little bit of a tick. Rock? It's called a rock tick. All right. We're done. We're done.